This is one of the biggest issues that I see teams struggling with whenever they first set up their infrastructure as code for their cloud deployments. So they deployed that Terraform code perfectly three months ago and it was absolutely beautiful, but now it's completely different and you have no idea what happened. This is infrastructure drift. It's when someone made a manual change in the console or they made an emergency fix that they never documented. And so suddenly your production environment is nothing like your code. You've got security groups with random open ports. You've got resources with missing tags and no clue who deployed them. You've got compliance dashboards that are showing failures, which is going to impact your audits. So how do we fix it and how do we prevent it? Well, most teams don't even have automatic way of handling this. And so here's the approach that I would recommend. I'm going to be showing you using a platform called Spacelift because they're sponsoring the channel and they gave me access, but you can use something else if you prefer. Just watch my approach and then apply it whichever way you think is best for your own environment. Okay, so first you need to enable the drift detection feature in whatever platform you're using to manage your IAC. In Spacelift, you can do that by going over to stacks and then selecting a stack that you've deployed. And from there, you'll click on scheduling and then you'll create a schedule for drift detection. You can set this as a cron expression, which is the frequency at which it will check for drift, and then you can create it. Then you'll go to the resources menu, and from there you can filter by drifted. This will only show you the resources that have drifted, so you can focus your entire attention on what those are and whether you wanna fix them. And so here you can see that I have three different drifted resources, and it tells me exactly which ones. And after taking care of that, you can deploy policy enforcement that prevents non-compliant changes before they even happen. And if you want to try out what I just demoed in this video, you can get a 14-day free trial by going to spacelift.io. I would also highly recommend disabling Cloud Console access, especially in your production environments, because nobody should be able to access those environments using the console, and especially not for daily activities. Now, I'll cover this in more detail in a full video, so be sure to subscribe and check out my profile so that you don't miss that video. But do you currently have any infrastructure drift in your environments, or do you even know whether you have any in there? Don't worry if you do, I've definitely been there before, but drop me a comment below and let me know.